Whoa, this is The Illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm in Oxnard, California. It's story time. I got a request to tell more stories from my trippy ass life. So I'm gonna tell you the story of Doc Holliday, all right? But I want this to be perfectly clear. This is back when I was drinking whiskey and doing cocaine wearing a cowboy hat and had six shooters strapped to my side. I was a cowboy back then. So circa 1999, 2000, right around there, probably 2000. I'm managing the dude ranch out in Milford, Pennsylvania. If you don't know what a dude ranch is, it's basically where city slickers come out to the country and they ride horses and put cowboy hats on and shoot guns and drink at the bar and do line dancing and eat barbecue and stuff, right? So I'm out there in rural Pennsylvania in the Poconos running this dude ranch and I used to wear like cowboy outfits, right? Full cowboy outfits, man, like bitchin' ones, dude. Cowboy hats, the whole deal, dude. I'm a pretty good equestrian myself, man. So, riding the horses, drinking the whiskey, shooting the guns, snorting the cocaine. Like some Johnny Cash song. And uh, so I was driving, because I'm managing this place, I'm driving around one day, and I, I'm driving and I see this guy dressed like Doc Holiday on the side of the road. So I pick him up and he's he's looking for work. And what he is, is he's a dude who does like period acting for some other place in New York, right? And he's looking for a job and I got, I got the perfect place for you. So I bring this dude up to the dude ranch because we were always looking for people to work, man. Cause you know, there's a lot of shitty jobs at a dude ranch. And uh, the, the turnover is incredible because everyone's getting hammered and we're all partying. It's madness. It's madness. It's, it's a kind of madness most people have never experienced. And I was co-managing the madness. And anyway, we pick up this dude, Doc Holiday, right? So he's there and all he has is Doc Holiday outfits, right? It's this older guy, Doc Holiday, dude. Just the, the, the bow tie and the, the black and the cowboy boots and the hat and the whole thing. And he used to carry this black powder gun, right? Because it's legal in Pennsylvania. You can carry a single shot black powder gun if it's like 200 years old. So he rolled with this thing. So I bring this dude up, he's working at the dude ranch, doing, you know, cleaning floors, tacking horses, doing dishes, whatever it is. You get to, the part of the deal is you get to live at the dude ranch, work and get a paycheck and all the food, room and board and food the whole thing, right? So, it's the night of the Tyson Holyfield fight. Just check that out. It's the night of the Tyson Holyfield fight, right? And at the time, we have, we used to book out like two months straight of pure Girl Scouts. I don't know if I've told this story before, but whatever, dude. We used to book out to Girl Scouts, right? So we had all these Girl Scouts there. And when the Girl Scouts were there, the saloon would shut down and most of the uh, staff was alcoholic, dude. So we would, uh, I love trains, man. Here we go. We got a train coming up in the dream. Yeah! Oh! I love that sound right there. Ah, it's a good sound. So, uh, so it's the night of the Tyson Holyfield fight, right? So the saloon's closed. So the staff wants to drink, right? So I round up the staff and I, I go, look, we're going out to this meadow out into the forest. We live in like the boondocks, dude. So I'm going, we're going out to this meadow out in the forest and there was this drunk dude, I forget his name, big dude. And he was all just, six sheets to the wind. So I loaded all the staff up, must have been 15 people in the back of my truck. And we're going the back way out of the dude ranch. And all of a sudden this dude's like, and there's gonna be some swearing in this video, people. Fuck the Girl Scouts. What 
and he says this literally as like 50 Girl Scouts are rounding the corner and their eyes bug out, dude, like, <gasps> Girl Scouts, man. And I just keep driving, dude. I don't even stop for the girl. I get out in the field, right? And I'm out in the field and we're drinking and we're partying. And I used to, this dude gave me this gold money chain. It wasn't really gold, but a money chain. You know, with the dollar sign and the chain. And I had it double wrapped around my neck that night because I was, I was on one, dude. Whatever. So this dude starts talking smack about the Girl Scouts. And I'm like, hey, look, man, those Girl Scouts pay the bills around here, dude. So you're not going to talk smack about the Girl Scouts because without the Girl Scouts, we don't eat, bro. The electricity don't come on. The beer don't flow, bro. And he starts talking shit. And I go, look, dude. I'm gonna put this beer down, I have. I'm gonna put this beer down, and when I put the beer down, we're fighting. It's a dude ranch, man. <laughs> it was a dude ranch. So I, I, and I go, when I get this chain off my thing, and it's, we're fighting, right? So I, I start unraveling the stupid chain I got on my thing, and I put it down, I put the beer down, and I take the beer, and I, throw it like a hundred miles an hour at the side of this dude's head. This dude's standing 10 feet away from me. I wing this beer at this guy's head, man. It smacks him. It was a beer can, by the way. Smacks him in the side of the head, but I follow it with just the full Superman, just power punch, dude. Because I knew this dude was huge and a scrapper. I knew I only had one shot at this guy, dude and I knock him out, man. Bam, on the ground, dude, in front of my whole staff, dude. I jump on this dude's chest and I'm like, look, dude, it's over. You lost, it's over, dude. Because, you know, I gotta assert myself right there and he surrenders and he uncles, right? The whole staff's tripped out, I knock this dude out. Ah, do I tell the dark part of the tale? Nah, we, we, the real, the real dark part of the tale's gotta be another time, dude. Ah, it's dark, man. All right, dude. Ah, the animal lovers out there are gonna freak, dude. Gotta think about this for a second. All right, dude. So there was this dude who worked in the kitchen, man. This black kid, man. And there was this crazy racist white guy who worked down at the barn, right? They were kids, dude. They hated each other, dude. They just hated each other, dude. So, at the dude ranch, we lived at the boonies at the end of this road. People used to abandon their cats at the end of the road, right? So these feral cats would live in the dumpster, right? And you gotta understand, man, feral cats and 300 Girl Scouts never gonna mix, bro. Just never gonna mix. So, I was told the racist guy, you know what, man? Just shoot the cats. You want to? He was all about guns and bullshit, dude. And I was like, just shoot the cats, man. You want to shoot something? Shoot the cats, dude. So one day we're drinking coffee in the dining hall. I see your bang, dude. Like whatever, okay, whatever. Like two days later, the black kids like, anyone seen my cat? And we're like, what cat? You don't have a cat? He's like, dude. I got one of the cats from the dumpster and made it, a, tamed it, and like made it my friend. And we're all like, really, dude? So upper management cover up ensues, right? We're like, we're not saying anything about the cat, dude. If we're gonna start, these dudes are gonna kill each other. Well, the cat ends up walking like five miles to the neighbor's house and the neighbors end up taking it to the vet and saving its life dude the cat lives dude by the way <laughs> it's one of those kooky stories so whatever cover up ensues they keep the cat we never tell anyone about the cat it's like two weeks later i knock this giant dude out we're out in the field the girl scouts are there it's madness i got the money chain on i go you know what I got something to say. 
I pull these two dudes aside and I go, there's not gonna be any trouble, but I can't live in secrecy. I don't, I don't roll with like lies, dude. I go, dude, your cat, I had it shot. And this dude, the dude's like, what? Yep, and I had him shoot it. And the dude's like, and I go, nope, I take full responsibility. It was my actions that led to this madness. I go, by the way, the cat's alive. It's down at the neighbor's house, dude. Somehow we get that whole scene smoothed out with these two racist dudes, man. I don't know how I got it smoothed out, but I did. So now it's been a long night out in the fields. And I come home and all I want to do is watch the Tyson Holyfield fight. It's the one where Tyson eats Holyfield's ear, right? Well, I'm, I'm sitting and we have this big giant like main room, dude, with the TV. It's like two stories, big atrium, the whole thing. And no one's there. The Girl Scouts are all sitting, watching the stupid thing. I'm drinking my beer. All of a sudden I hear screaming and yelling coming from the kitchen, right? From the main dining room. It's Doc Holiday. Doc Holiday isn't gonna wash, mop the floors of the dining hall. But understand the dining hall, up above the dining hall is like 20 rooms full of Girl Scouts, dude. Like 150 Girl Scouts. And he's screaming and yelling, I ain't watching the, I ain't mopping the floors of the dining room and the whole thing. And I go, and I'm like trying to watch the Tyson Holyfield fight. I go in there, I go, look, dude. I go, man, you either mop the floors the dining hall, or you don't. But I don't want to hear any yelling, dude. And if you don't mop the floors of the dining hall, we will deal with it with the owner tomorrow. Hmm? And he's like, and I go, I just don't want to hear any noise, dude. We got the Girl Scouts here, man. I'm crazy, dude. Remember, I'm hammered and I'm on cocaine. So I go out and I'm trying to watch the Holy Field fight. He starts again, and he starts again, and I'm like, dude, I come back, I go, dude, if I hear one more peep out of you, dude, I'm gonna knock you the fuck out, dude. Go silent, I go back out there, I'm watching the Holyfield fight again, all of a sudden I hear him start making noise again, making noise. Dude, I walk up to this dude like Doc Holliday, and I boom, knocked him out, dude. Just laid him out in the middle of this dining hall, right? I'm walking away, and he gets, staggers up, and he goes for the black powder gun, dude. I'm one of those, man. Run from a knife, charge a gun. I go running at this dude and bam! Knocked him out again, dude. Took his gun, whatever. End of story. I go watch the Tyson Holyfield fight. It's now the next morning. The whole staff's having coffee that morning. Now you gotta understand, the staff that was with the first knockout went to bed. The staff that was with the second knockout was a different group of staff. I go to the thing and each one's like, that was gnarly and he knocked out that dude. And they're like, what? He knocked out that dude, but he knocked out this dude over here. So it was this big thing where that night of the Tyson Holyfield fight, I knocked out two dudes. I know the thing with the cat, dude. Whatever, dude, you just don't understand. Just don't understand. Girl Scouts, feral cats, don't mix. Liability, dude. By the way, dude, no cats were actually killed in the making of this video or there at all. Like, after the bad encounter with the cat and the racist dudes, like, that was it. I don't know what we ever ended up doing with all the cats, man. I think they just got taken out by predators and stuff, dude. But they were a problem, dude. Let me tell you, dude. Girl Scouts will go and pet a feral cat by a dumpster, and they will get rabies. Safety first, I don't know. There's a story, people. There's a story next to an oil well in Oxnard. Hey! Don't forget, if you want to support this channel, support the dream, here's some marketing. I have t-shirts, the illusion the universe will provide, right? Ain't buying into the status quo. That's right. 
and the secret to perfection is in perfection t-shirt that's on my big cartel site on my etsy site i've got art upcycled wood frames custom made i've got illusion art i got stuff for you to buy put on your wall put on your body and support the dream thank you